Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 39. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 5, go to the link directly below the video and scroll down far enough to get to the finance class and then you can download chapter 5. Hey, in this video, we just want to figure out how long it takes to pay off our credit card if we pay only the minimum the minimum amount. So, our balance is 7,500. It says minimum payment. You're like, yeah, okay, I'll do that minimum payment. No, 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 you don't want to do that. If the interest rate is 12, 18% and uh, your number of compounded periods per year are 12, so you're making monthly payments, we can use the NPER function to figure out the depressing truth. And this is going to give us months, because NPER will always give us periods, right? number of periods and since we have a compounding period of 12 it'll give us all the months and then we from that we can get years. NPER it's going to need a rate that's a period rate so we do 18 divided by uh, annual rate divided by number of compounding periods per year. The payment uh, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to change that to a negative in the cell. We can see that when we have two positive cash flows like this uh, one for PMT and one for present value. The function will not calculate, but we'll fix it. Present value, that's a positive, right? Because even though the balance is sitting there, it's as if they gave you a loan, so into your pocket. There's no balance at the end, so we don't need to put anything there. And the type, this is going to be at the end, so we'll keep it the default, which is nothing. I'm going to immediately change this to a minus. So we have a minus $125 per, that's our minimum payment, and our, there's our present value, right? This is the present value, these are the future cash flows. Equal in amount, equal uh, time between each amount, so it makes an annuity, so we used our rate. There it is, 154 months, equals this times our number of periods, sorry, divide by, here's all the periods, and we want to take the find the number of 12 unit chunks, so there it is, 12, almost 13 years to pay off this. And the painful truth is there'll be tons of interest, because it's accruing interest. That's why they like you to pay the minimum amount, as long as you don't default. Now we could build an amortization table, and we will actually see how to do that for a consumer loan uh, coming up in a few videos. All right, see you next video.